Family Dog was released in June of 1993 to coincide with the start of the TV series with the same name. The TV show, however, had an extremely short run, with only 10 episodes that aired from late June till early July of 1993. The concept for the series was birthed from a show called Amazing Stories, which ran in the late 80s and gave birth to the Family Dog. Dog. The show was created as a primetime animated series for CBS in an attempt to cash in with the success that The Simpsons saw during this time period. The game was developed by Imagineering Inc. and published by Malibu Games. Imagineering Inc. can be blamed for mediocre titles such as the NES Simpsons games, the SNES Home Improvement game, and the Penn & Teller Smoke & Mirrors game on the Sega CD. Family Dog lives up to its developer's legacy of producing mediocre content. The game has an extremely minimal plot that really just kind of shows the dog getting into each of the three areas of the game. The house, the prison, and the forest. One of the first things you'll notice when playing the game is how poorly it controls. The game feels like it has a massive lag or disconnect from what you're actually telling it to do. Aside from the controls being incredibly stiff, sometimes the game will have the dog do things that you didn't even hit on the controller. When you jump when standing still, you'll jump higher than the really short jump you'll do when you're holding forward. The Y button makes you bark, which is your only attack, and the X button makes you run. The first few times I played this game, I didn't even realize there was a run button. And when I finally did, it was one of the most uncomfortable button positions I've ever seen because you have to jump with B. The levels in this game are really boring and poorly designed. The first set of levels, you're in a house where you just move to the right to the end of each stage. However, it's extremely easy to run through these levels as fast as you can. The most annoying part of these first few stages is that the family's kid will torment you on these stages. The second level has you in a prison where you have to set free some birds from each prison cell, although it's in no way apparent. After freeing several birds, they'll flip a switch which will let you progress to the higher floors. Repeat this until you jump out of one of the windows at the top of the prison. The second part of the level has you descending the outside of the prison and eventually fighting the game's only boss, which is a dog catcher, which is easily defeated. The third level, you're in a forest making your way back home. The first section is pretty straightforward and you just run to the right and it can be done pretty easily. The second part has you bouncing off tree branches where you'll finally find a tree trunk with a warp zone in the center that'll take you back home. The tree bouncing part is an incredibly poorly laid out and almost never makes any sense as to where you're supposed to go. Everything in every level is pretty much boring and thanks to the awful controls it just feels bad. Luckily this game is beatable in under 10 minutes, so you won't have to spend too much time with it. Graphically, this game looks pretty bad. Everything in most areas seems to repeat the same bland backgrounds, and most of the sprites look fairly ugly. Although I do think the prison guard dog on the prison level is really funny, but it's by no means good looking. The audio in Family Dog ranges from chaotic to gloomy, however it's never catchy. The forest level's music is probably the best of the three tunes in the game, however there isn't much to write home about. The soundtrack is so unpopular that no one's ripped it online yet. So should you play Family Dog? The answers were a sounding no. The stiff controls and poor level design make this game completely unfun no matter what spin you take on it. Even if you're a fan of the TV show, I'd probably stick to that unless you're a hardcore Super Nintendo collector. There's really no reason I can think of to seek this game out.